Bismillah al-Ahya al-Ajla. After the podcast that uh, Salman Sheikh and I made, someone dropped me a query, uh, and we had a very interesting exchange. Um, they were querying me about the meaning of the word Ummah, uh, that uh, both Salman Sheikh and I frequently use um, in the podcast. Um, the word Ummah obviously means, at least on the surface, uh, uh, meaning of the word means nation. Um, but in the FSO, in the Fatimiyya Sufi order, um, there is a nuance when this word Ummah is used. Uh, it means something very specific. And I would direct people, first of all, to um, Henry Corbin's discussion in the section two of his book, Spiritual Body and Celestial Earth, um, where he quotes directly from Haj, uh, uh, Karim Khan Kermani, the, the, Kerm the first Kermani Sheikhi leader where he quotes a hadith and then unpacks and translates this hadith um, that has a very profound meaning on the meaning of the word imam, um, whereby the imams, the 12 imams, the, the true successors of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and upon them, say that we are the mothers of this community. Um, if the father of the community of Islam is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, then the mothers of this community are the imams. Now, in the Fatimiyya Sufi order, the word ummah has a very um, nuanced interpretation. On the one hand, it deals with the, you know, the basic surface definition of that word as nation. However, and especially if you go to um, the old Arabic dictionaries and, and uh, even someone like uh, Edward Lane's uh, Arabic-English lexicon, uh, the word ummah and the word um are related, both in their um, in their root uh, and also in their meaning. And the word um in Arabic, just like in the Hebrew, em um, means mother. And in the Fatimiyya Sufi order, when I speak about a single ummah, um, I not only mean about a single people or a single nation of human beings, but we are talking about the ummah. Uh, the nation or the people or the collective whose original mother is none other than the Supreme Mother herself, um, which in the doctrine of this Fatimiyya Sufi order represents Eve, Hadrat Hawa, uh, alayha salam. Um, Eve plays a very central role, um, and the speculations around Eve play an extremely central role in the doctrine of the Fatimiyya Sufi order. So when I speak of Ummah, I don't necessarily even mean it from that perspective of um, nation or people um, or tribe or any of that. When I speak of Ummah, I speak of the humanity that emerges from Hawa, from Eve, um, whose name, as the Bible itself says in the book of Genesis, is an acrostic for M. Kul Hai, or in the Arabic, Umma Kul Hai, the mother of all living. Now, you know, as historians and biblical historians and, and um, uh, you know, comparative religionists, etc., have, have written endlessly about that, you know, the figure of Eve in the book of Genesis repre represents um, the proto goddess of the pre uh, Israelite religion. I, I fully concur with that, absolutely. But nevertheless, when I use the word ummah, I am not just referring to nation or people. Um, I am referring to Eve and the people and the collective that emerge um, from Eve, from Hawa. Um, this is very important subtlety in the doctrine of, of the FSO. Um, because as, as those who have you know, interacted with me know that the, the central doctrine of the FSO is um, God or the Godhead, or the Goddess, rather. Um, the, the theophany of God occurs as a female, at least in the Fatimiyya Sufi order. So when I talk about Allah, um, my specific understanding of that concept, based on my own visions and my own lifetime experience of interacting with the Spirit, is as a female. Um, so when also when I speak about Ummah, what I mean is the people who derive from Eve, um, from the mother of all living. 
Obviously, the doctrine of Eve in the FSO is not the standard orthodox doctrine of Eve that you find um, either in literal interpretations of the Bible by orthodox establishment or even in, in its Islamic uh, trajectory. The doctrine of Eve that I propound and the FSO propounds um, emerges both from a, uh, a, a reading of some of the Gnostic scriptures uh, of the Nag Hammadi, particularly the Apocalypse of Adam, but particularly... Uh, a statement that is made by the primal point, the Bob, in his commentary on uh, the Surah of the Cow, where Eve um, represents the transfiguration of Fatima herself. In other words, um, that in this, you know, proto Bobby doctrine of the Bob, um, Eve was actually the, the manifestation of the Godhead. Um, and the reason for the fall of Adam occurs fundamentally because of his lack of respect and appreciation for the station of his wife, Eve, Hawa. So this is the doctrine, this is our point of departure on the idea and the doctrine of Eve. Uh, these are all symbols, obviously, um, and should be understood from that perspective. But when I speak about Umma, um, I am not only speaking about a nation or a people. I am speaking of the collective of humanity that emerges from the mother of all living, um, Hazrat Hawa alayha salam. Um, la hoja ila aliyan qabla nabil.